Hi everyone, it's Betsy. You're watching Heavens to Betsy. Welcome back. We are going to do another video today on what did I find in that hoarder house. I'm going to start off with this box here. This is a box that came out of the attic. When I got my phone call on Friday to come over and pick up more vintage clothing, he told me that when he was emptying out the rest of the attic, when the auction company came in to take things out of the attic, he found a whole bunch of boxes and um, he was getting things ready for me to come over and pick up. This is a box that he found. Um, Catherine wrote on it, new clothes, Catherine. And then it looks like RR. She labeled everything. So this has been up in the in the attic. I did open it up yesterday because I wanted to know what the heck was in the boxes. I have four boxes like that back there that are basically new old stock vintage clothing. They range from women's clothes to juniors and misses. And it also ranges from heirs from 1950s, 60s, 70s. It's um, a crazy range of errors in those boxes. I also got huge boxes full of vintage clothing. There you see the, the box and one of them came in. And I was going through some other bags because there was a huge box that was four feet tall in the attic space that I, he, couldn't, he couldn't get out down the steps. Actually, that box on the bottom is about that high. It's about two feet high, I would say, three feet high. And he was throwing, like all these boxes right here, he was throwing off the roof. So he was in the attic, he didn't wanna carry them down the steps, so he was actually throwing them off the roof. So we're happy the boxes and the clothing in them survived the plunge from the roof. But the box in the attic, which was four feet high, he could not throw off the roof, clean out the boxes and put them into big contractor bags. Those boxes in the attic had 40s, 50s, 60s, her clothes, kids' clothes. The only type of clothing that was not found in those boxes was men's stuff. There is absolutely no men's stuff in the house any longer. After her husband died in 2009, it, she got rid of everything. So the woman never got rid of anything other than her husband's stuff. Interesting, right? Mm-hmm. He also gave me boxes of uh, linens. He was going to donate these. And I said, oh, I like this. He goes, here, just take it and then donate whatever you don't want. So I have some boxes of linens that he donated it, what he was going to donate. And he just gave to me as part of my pickup. So we are standing in the front. Here's here's kind of a good, I'm going to give you a idea what it looks out, like out here. These are the coats that I got in one of my buys that I, when I did, went over to pick things up, I never showed you really the coats. So I have two, <laughs> I have two sides of vintage coats, all kinds of different eras. I have Afghans that he threw in. I have purses up there in boxes. I have, I don't know, pillowcases up there in boxes. I started dividing up into totes of clothing when I was going through the bag. So we have like a tote of all vintage sweaters, a tote of 80s, a tote of like 90s. You can see all the bags yet. Yeah, I still have to go through. Some of these are brand new bags. That's a brand new bag there that just came in Friday night. Um, bags here that just came in, the big box that just came in. And then this stuff I was going through and looking through yesterday, and that came out of the big box that was in his attic. I have now a selection of belts. So he threw in all these. I have a huge other bag of just belts that I have to go through and try to match dresses up with and things up with belts. I think there are probably some things that I don't even have yet. There's there's more. There's more vintage clothing yet. <laughs> But I don't think I don't think we're gonna go through the rest of that for a while. I found two old stock umbrellas in one of the closets when I was there that I was allowed to clean out. 
yeah, so right now I'm a hot mess and um, I just want to be real with you. When you do buys like this and you don't have like a huge, I don't have a storage facility. I am not going to pay for a storage facility. I refuse. So this is kind of like what it's looking like. And I will process all this and I will give you an update eventually when everything is neat and organized. But right now I'm a hot mess and that's okay. I'm okay being a hot mess because I have all this awesome vintage clothing. And that that's a mound of her newer vintage clothing from, I'm going to say 80s, 90s, and Y2K stuff there. I emptied out some things because I, I like to recycle the big contractor bags that I pick the vintage up in. So I threw some stuff there. That's why that's a hot mess over there. But let's get back to the topic at hand. We are going to go through this box of vintage clothing. This so let's get started. First up, this beautiful dress. I think it's kind of like a house dress. I thought yesterday it might have been like a tea time or hostess kind of dress. It's gorgeous. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it's never been worn. It still has the paper tag that has, has not fallen off from being worn or washed. But check out the print on it. It's so beautiful. The colors are bright and just really nice. We're gonna have a mix of junior sizes in with this haul. These are flared bottoms. Um, I'm guessing these are probably a junior size, but I know. Check out those pants. And they're really fun. They still have the tag on them. So next up, <laughs> this amazing polyester, crazy mod pant top fashion dress or shirt. Very cool. Original tag still on it. Never worn. This is a size 32 bust. I have to get going. There's like 50 pieces in these boxes. All right. Um, a little 60s novelty print kind of floral, bright floral shift dress. It's got ties down at the bottom. Just adorable. This is a Rhapsody. This looks like this was worn previously. Um, so I would not say that this is new old stock, but maybe it is. I don't know. It's still in really super good condition. Another new tagged polyester top. Great print on that one. You got the dagger collar on that one. And that this is a 32, size 32 also. So these are gonna be small sizes. 32s tend to be smaller sizes. You might be able to get a medium out of it because it might be cut so that it's larger. Another uh, new, I don't believe this one has tags, but it's new, it's never been worn beautiful print on that one with the dagger collars and it looks like it has a back button and it's got cuff sleeves and I believe this one is a size 14 and it's an acetate nylon and made in the USA. Here we have a pair of amazing <laughs> I'm gonna say these are 50s, pants from the 50s. Original belt, it's never been worn. It doesn't have original tags on it, but it has never been worn and it is a size 12. So a really small size, but really great condition. Pair of kids pants. Like I said, there it's random in here. These have never been worn and they're just a cute little pair of kids pants. Just kind of like a house day dress striped. It is new, it's never been worn and snap button front with a pocket. <laughs> pair of new with tags, 100% pants. Um, with the sash, the beautiful sash is still there, the real colorful sash. These are gonna be wide flare bottoms and check the tag out on it. Tag is pretty cool, fun.
1960s polyester, 1970s polyester, somewhere around there, late 60s, 70s polyester dress, new with tags. This is a Joan Curtis dress, has the belt attached to it. Beautiful, beautiful little girl's coat. Gorgeous, new with tags, never been worn, probably from the 50s. Um, it is a size six all rayon. Next up, another beautiful polyester rayon, crazy psychedelic sort of beautiful um, blouse. That's a size 32 also. New old sock skirt with the tag on it. Little terry cloth um, top, and this is a um, Health Tex label. New with tag skirt. I'm gonna guess probably uh, 50s on that one. New with tag skirt, probably 50s or 60s. New with tag skirt. Here is a um, Clara, what is it? Clara Knits. See, Lara Knits. I've never heard of them. It's probably 60s, 70s. Knit dress, new with tags. polyester top not it's it's not it doesn't have tags on it but it has the collar stays still there so it was never worn plaid skirt new with the label still on it cute cute shorts probably 60s shorts there maybe 50s never worn 1960s jacket, never worn. And here's the matching skirt with it, or I'm sorry, dress, it's a dress, dress and jacket from the 1960s. Nineteen forties coat. Not sure much what this coat's this is a Budsters tailored by Rothschild is the label. Never worn. It's got the shoulder pads. That's why I'm assuming it's probably 1940s, 1950s, probably 1940s. Wool pants with a side hidden zip. I'm guessing these are probably 40s. 40s or 50s on those, never worn. A little denim skirt, new with the tags. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can see, these are called Mr. Whistlers. That's the brand. Avondale, Avondale Wash and Wear. I'm guessing probably a little 60s denim skirt there. Little boy's coat or little girl's coat. Extremely adorable, very dirty, um, but still has the tag on it. This is a genie's blouse. Uh, genie was known for making jeans and denims. Nautical themed shorts with a back zip, so from the 50s. Still new with the tag on it. Crazy little kids pants. Love the graphics on this. I'm guessing these are probably from the 50s. <laughs> it's got like some crazy like lady heads on it. I'm gonna say they're like lady heads with hats and whatever. 
So these are a kid size 14. And the elastic's still good on them. They're in great condition. Probably just a little dirty from storage. Oh, there's a belt. Belt down. I'll have to get that. Gonna say a 50s skirt here. New with tags. Ruth K. Casual skirt. Um, are these shorts? Yep. Um, probably 1950s or 60s orange shorts. Little kids pants with um, a side stripe on them. New with tags. Um, a little skirt probably from the 50s. It's got a metal back zipper. 50s or 60s. It's called Cat K Chambray and it's regal. So it does have the tag on the back. Nice pair of plaid wool pants. Trousers. New with tag um, by American Queen. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. These are tiny, tiny, tiny. Pair of, I'm gonna say 60s, 60s, 70s, stretch, Visa fabric that cares for itself and you, America's freedom fabric. These look like they could be actually 80s. So, you know, part of doing this whole thing is kind of like being a, a private detective or a detective in general, because you're like, hmm, how long have these boxes been in the attic? Have they been there 50 years? If you got some 80s pants in there, then that's going to kind of date it until, well, maybe she didn't put this box up there until the 80s. These, uh, it's a mystery. And I'm like, should I really overthink this or should I just enjoy what I'm finding in the boxes. Here are a pair of flared jeans. Purple flared jeans. New with tag, these are American Queen. This is a nice size that should fit somebody. Maybe 25 inch waist on those. Cute pair of kids. Kids pants, little girls pants, little boys pants, I don't know. It's almost like it has a bungo drum on them. And then the little accent on the cuffs. And there's the new paper tag that's still on them, so they've never been worn. I'm guessing probably 50s on those pants. A pair of shorts from American Queen with a belt, but the belt is really old and kind of crusty. 1950s shorts, brand new 50s shorts. Um, a lovely like pocket de detail. It's got the middle back button zip. It's got a cute little button detail on the bottom. And these are size 38. If you like them in black, you're gonna really like them in blue. Here is a set or a pair in blue. So here's a pair of blue and a pair of black. Okay, another pair of kids pants. Elastic's good on that. And embellishment, I'm not sure what this is at the bottom. Some sort of embellishment there on that, on that leg. Never worn. Another pair of kids pants. It's got this really cool stripe and these have a flare to them. Good elastic waist and there is the tag on the front of them. Awesome pair of belt bottoms. <laughs> Trousers, it's got kind of a wool blend. Look at the flare on those. Oops, I just knocked the boxes over behind me. Those are really nice. 
Um, it looks like they're never been worn. Yep, never been worn. They are a size 12, it looks like. Pair of shorts, I believe. Shorts, shorts. Funky little pattern on those. The belt has seen better days, so the belt will go. It's too stiff. It's not even pliable any longer. Cute little shorts with the tag, never been worn. If you like them in black, you'll like them in blue. Here you go, a pair of shorts. The belt is missing from this one. I'm guessing these are probably 50s or 60s. They do have the metal front zipper on them and button at the waist. They're kind of like a Bermuda, a Bermuda length on them. Okay, so crazy 60s dress here. <laughs> this is awesome dress. Look at the pattern on that. It's almost like floral, fun floral front pockets, button fronts. Really cute. Never been worn. Never been worn. Probably 60s dress. Back metal zipper. The only thing that needs to be fixed on this dress is the elastic needs to be re-sewn. The elastic like shearing is not there any longer. It broke down, but really cute print. Let's see, does it have pockets? I don't think it has pockets. It's kind of like a 60s little maxi length dress. Fun, <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Short shorts, I'm guessing these are probably 60s or 60s, maybe 70s, 60s, I'm, I don't know. These are stiff because they've been stored all these years, but how cool are those? They are like a spatter print on them. It has a front metal zipper with buttons to give it like faux buttons there. And yeah, so size 14 through 15. And these were $5. You can see they never been worn. There's the original tag on it. These are Maverick denim shorts. I wonder if the other ones might be Maverick. I'll have to look into that. So these are short shorts by Maverick. These are denim, purple denim, Maverick short shorts. Probably late 60s on those. Um, a skirt that the belt is just not going to allow me to straighten it out. Pencil skirt. A cool pair of pants from the late 60s. Great print on those. Wide, <laughs> wide flare like. Um, legs on them hand washing size 14 flare leg pants size 14 100 acrylic new with the tag and i have one more thing at the bottom of the box look at my pile it is another pair of flare leg pants this one's new in the wrapper it's never come out of the wrapper and these are size 12 in there So that's it. That is the exciting first new old stock box that I opened up and was really excited to find all the cool stuff in there. Oh my gosh, I just went through this box right here and that's my pile. I think there's about 50 some items. I wonder if I can fit it all back in that box. I don't know. She folded everything really nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, I just packed this box back full again. I did a piss poor job of packing. 
Catherine would be very upset about this probably. I'm only going to leave these items in here for a short period of time and then they're going to come out again when I'm ready to start processing them. So there you go. You saw what was in Catherine's new clothing box. Pretty exciting stuff there. I will be back very soon with another video. Bye-bye.